what's up guys and welcome back to everything gaming and in today's video i'm going to be helping you guys complete all of the challenges for tomorrow's forzathon event in which you can win the jaguar f type horizon edition which is a very very cool car uh, so without further ado let's get stuck in here uh, to my returning forzathon video that i haven't done in a while uh, so the first challenge here called brighter lights wants you to complete three street races to receive 55,000 uh, xp the next one called leave your mark wants you to perform 30 burnout skills to receive 35,000 credits and the last one called Wasn't Me wants you to get three stars on a speed trap in a hypercar to win the Jaguar F-Type Horizon Edition. So some very, very easy challenges here, and there is only three of them. Uh, so the first challenge just wants you to complete three street races to receive 55,000 credits. So it's not that hard at all. Now, what you want to do first of all is pick the car that you're comfortable driving in and that you're going to be racing in, because the car you enter the race in is the car you're going to be using when it comes to actually doing the street races. So as you can see, I'm in the Bugatti Veyron Supersport. Now, obviously, you can filter it just to street races to show all the street races across uh, the Horizon 3 map. So all you want to do is complete three of them. So you don't need to win them, just cross that finish line. It doesn't matter where you place. Uh, like I said, make sure you're you enter the event uh, in the car that you're happy to race in so it's really not that hard at all all you've got to do is complete three of them and jobs are good and a very very easy first challenge there obviously it's better if you come in first place because you get more credits and xp but like i said to complete the challenge it doesn't matter where you finish whether it's first or tenth as long as you cross that finish line three times in three street races specifically you'll complete the challenge uh, next challenge here wants you to perform 30 burnout skills to receive 35,000 credits yet again another very very easy one now the easiest way to do this is with a rear wheel drive car so what i suggest you do is in your cars you filter them uh, and you select a rear wheel drive if you go all the way down to the bottom you pick the drivetrain type now you can pick whichever rear wheel drive car you want this is just sort of to help you out to make it a bit easier um, so i went for a bmw m3 but it's entirely down to yourself which way you want to do it now there is two ways that you can easily get the burnout skill uh, and obviously you get four burnout skills if you keep it going from just burnout all the way up to ultimate burnout now one way you can do it is by holding the brake and the accelerator at the same time slowly releasing off the brake and then you will obviously see that you're sort of doing lots of wheel spins which are burnouts uh, you just keep that going get burnout uh, and then you get what is it next uh, great burnout there you go awesome burnout and ultimate burnout so there's four burnout skills there in the space of about 10 seconds so that's the first way that you can do this uh, and the second way that you can get the burnout skill is basically by doing donuts uh, so this is probably the easiest way for people who aren't sort of happy using the brake at the same time so all you've got to do is just do a massive donut uh, until you get from burnout to ultimate burnout skill so it's very very simple and all you have to do is keep doing that, it's about 5-6 times basically to get 30 of the burnout skills. Um, so it's really really not that hard at all. Like I said it's easier done in a rear wheel drive car but I'm sure you'll get away with it in, a, in an all wheel drive car but it's down to you guys at the end of the day. Uh, the final challenge wants you to get 3 stars on a speed trap in a hypercar to win the Jaguar F-Type Horizon Edition. Yet again another very very easy one. So what I obviously did is I filtered my cars to just show hypercars. Now, there are multiple hypercars that you can pick from. If you don't have one, check them out in the auction house. I'm sure some of them are going fairly cheap, but I'm pretty sure that most of you guys will have one. Uh, so I just went from a Porsche 918, as I always do. Uh, I then filtered just to show speed traps. Now, there are multiple speed traps you can pick, but if you're not comfortable with, say, for instance, the top speed of your hypercar, I recommend doing this one, the West Outback speed trap, as you can get a massive, massive run up from about this sort of town area, uh, and you can get well over 200 mile an hour very, very easy in a hypercar. Car, um, and that is the target after all just 200 mile an hour on that speed trap anyway guys i hope that this helped you out uh, i hope that you obviously complete all three challenges and get the jaguar f-type horizon edition the reason i believe there is no fourth challenge is because it will probably be a discount in the sh in the auto show or something like that anyway guys a massive massive thank you for your support recently i hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to stay tuned for more videos just like this thank you very much guys